Hey there. I thought I would give you all a little demo of a uh, Nexus 6, Motorola Google Nexus 6, running uh, the latest version of Android, Android 10. Uh, this is a build from the Lineage Group. Uh, it is um, fairly functional, I have to say. It's it's. I've been really pleased with uh, uh, the features on it. There are some things that r you run into some problems, um, such as the. So as you can see, there Android version is ten. Uh, and there are a few problems um, with the Lineage OS, uh, and I'll give you a rundown of what I had to do to get this up and going. But overall, I'm really pleased with the performance of this. Uh, it seems to have really um, done a nice job on uh, the functionality and uh, the performance. The, the battery on this, keep in mind, this is a five or six maybe seven year old phone at this point. I don't know, it's it's a very old phone at this point. Oh, don't need that. Uh, but uh, it is um, not a great battery life for this particular one uh, because, you know, we're talking about a very old device here. Uh, let's see, fast.com. Uh, I thought I would, well, no, I'm not gonna worry about showing you the the internet performance on it uh it's it's an older device you know of course so the battery is a little bit on the weak side uh i think right now with this phone i generally am going to get about uh, four to five hours of continuous use out of the device which isn't bad for a phone of this age uh it's not great it's not bad you could probably get the battery replaced um if you really wanted to to increase that uh, but overall the issues I ran into with the lineage installation I got the lineage 17.1 from uh, the lineage OS website they do have a build for Shamu which is what this particular device is and okay and uh, Sorry, I had to pause it to sneeze there. Hope that didn't come through. Uh, the the Lineage OS is uh, pretty well put together, but it does lack a, a you know all of the Google apps and, and such. Of course, um, as such, I had to had a little trouble getting the G apps installed on it, and I'll give you the rundown on how that ended up working out. Uh, the G apps, uh, I had to go to gapps.org. And uh, then you go through and you pick out your, on this particular one, it's an ARM, not an ARM64 processor, just an ARM uh, 10. And then I went with the Nano installation. The Nano installation gives you things like your simple little uh, app store here, which then allows you from the app store to install pretty much anything that you want, including all the rest of the Google apps. So, uh, you know, once you get that nano version on there, you can go through and install things like the, uh, the, the Google Assistant and, and all the rest of that stuff, which I think the Google Assistant is working here. Okay, Google. Oh, guess not. I got a microphone up here in the corner. Not entirely certain what it's indicating. Um, I also... Um, don't have a SIM card in this particular device at the at this time. I've been using this device as a gaming device for a long time. And I went ahead and got my Star Wars game that I've been playing and uh, running it on here. And, and it's it's not great. It's not perfect. It's pretty good, though. Uh, well, right now it seems to be very stalled out, but it knows it's on camera. As you can see, this does have this uh, cracked screen down here in the corner. Um, which is just my own fault. I went to pull it out of my pocket one day and dropped it on the ground. And uh, I don't use covers. And so my naked phone got damaged that day. But yeah, the, the big thing that was a problem for me was finding an, a, a version of the G apps that worked. I did install this using Twerp. I did not use the custom lineage uh, 
uh, recovery image because I just couldn't even figure it out or find any documentation to it. Uh, so I just went into twerp. I uh, did a full backup of my existing system and then I cleared all of the cache, wiped everything and, uh, in installed the zip file, uh, from lineage for the 17.1 Shamu build. And, uh, it seems to have worked out just fine. Uh, like I said, after the fact, I got it all up and running and then I went on my PC, I had to go and download the G apps on my laptop. And from there, then I was able to go ahead and, uh, uh, get to the the uh, the G apps installer. Well, it's it's just a zip file actually. If you try to download it on a phone, if for some reason the SourceForge will not let you download it on a form on a phone, it only wants you to download it on uh, the uh, uh, desktop. Once you download it on the desktop, then you can go ahead and port it over to the phone. Just hook up a USB cable. You come back to this device, uh, it'll have a USB option up here under your notifications, uh, which then you can turn on the, the file sharing. And from there, then you're going to be able to go ahead and transfer that zip file over to that folder, uh, your downloads folder. And uh, in there, then you can go back into twerp and do the install. This uh, Google Play Music seemed a little slow for a second there, but now it's all populated out. Um, yeah, overall, uh, really gave this phone some new life, I think. Uh, looks pretty good. I love the dark theme. You know, that's a big feature for me, although I've been dark theming everything that I had uh, manually myself for a long time now. Uh, having it actually built in is pretty cool. So that's a Nexus 6 running... Uh, uh, Lineage 17, Android 10 with full G apps. Uh, runs pretty well. Give it a shot. If you like, check out my other videos and go ahead and subscribe if you like. Thank you very much and have a good day.